Drinking buddies, how much difference does it really make to add a couple drops of water to your whiskey before you're drinking? Should you be doing it? Should you not be doing it? Let's find out. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So on the left here, wait, your yeah, your left here. Uh, you will see that I'm drinking some BRTO1. I just chose a cast strength bourbon, and it's uh, let's see, 109.4 proof. And then on your right here, you will see that I am drinking um, the Ode to Isla from Whiskey Del Bach. Why did I choose this? Well, in the comments, somebody said the only time they've ever really noticed a difference is when they're drinking Isla Scotches. And I don't really like Isla Scotches. However, I really like this Ode to Isla from Whiskey Del Bach. It is mesquited, not peated. So if you're not a fan of peat, but you like smoky, you might really dig the Del Bach stuff. So let's begin over here with the bourbon. I did add the water and then put a sticker on the bottom of the glasses and mix them up so I won't know what I'm drinking. I don't want any biases in the way. Because I will be honest, I think my bias is that the water doesn't do anything or does so little it's not worth bothering with. Let's see if I'm wrong. Oh, that's a great nose. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's good. It's like Sweden. Desserty, like decadent. Brown sugar, honey, touch of citrus. And oak. Oak. Oak has arrived. Pancakes and maple syrup. Oh, that is, that is so good. So mapley. Oh, that is so good. A little hint of cherry on the finish. Really great mouthfeel and almost no heat, like almost no idea that you're drinking something high proof. Identical nose. Identical. Hmm. Hmm. There is a, just a tiny, tiny, tiny slight difference on here. But it is so subtle, I don't think I could really say that it's worth doing, at least in this particular bottle. I'm not saying that this will always be the case, but I will admit that I'm a little surprised that there's a difference at all. The difference is so slight. I, I, I can't say that one is really better than the other. The one thing I'll say about this glass is I feel like it might have, I know I said there was no burn on here, but after tasting this, there's slightly more burn on here, if that makes sense. So either the water dissipated the alcohol vapors just, a, just enough for me to barely notice it, or the water helped quote unquote open it up a little bit. And this one is just, um, and that one you're, you're feeling more of those flavors and therefore it tastes a little hotter. That those are the two options. So uh, maybe let's find out. Um, I, I, I think that this glass is just slightly better, but it's so barely. So it was the water. The water was just, just slightly better, but it's also leading to a slightly shorter finish. I'm actually surprised that there's any, any difference at all. I mean, you're, you're taking like one and a half ounces of whiskey, a couple drops of water really shouldn't make that much of a difference, but it's subtle, but it is there. There's, there's a little bit of a difference. Yeah, that one's a little bit more quote unquote smooth, probably because I watered it down a little bit. And I'm only talking about a few drops here. Oh, just so mesquite and dark chocolate. A lot of oak on here. Mm-hmm. 
That is smoky awesome. That is, yeah. I mean, I, I had some mescal the other day and I thought that was smoky. This is way smokier. No off-putting flavors like I often get on some of the Islas where you're getting those Band-Aids, the iodine. It's just smoky in a really nice and pleasant way. Reminding me more of like barbecue and, you know, maybe sitting around a campfire rather than like burning rubber or like Band-Aids. Um, yeah, love this bottle. I, I'm a little bit blown away right now. This is a pretty different nose. There's more going on here. There's, this is like, this is kind of blowing my mind. I, want, I, I wonder if this is the water glass because yeah, compared to this, this is like smelling nothing. I don't know if this is the water glass and I just like diffuse the, 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 uh, the, the whiskey to the point of, you know, I diffused it into nothingness by just adding a couple drops of water and this is just the natural great smell that it gives. It's not as good on flavor either. I poured them at the same time. They've been in the glass the same amount of time. The only difference is one of these I added water to. And this glass is noticeably better. So I'm really curious. I think that I think that means it must be the water since I like this one just slightly more. So let's let's find out. Um, no, okay. Okay, cool. So the one that tasted kind of watered down and is really lacking in the nose department is the one I added a few drops of water to. I basically ruined this um, with the water. Um, in comparison, it's night and day. That is really interesting. I'm surprised by this. Um, over here, like I said, there was just a tiny difference, but not enough. I don't think I will be adding water to any of my whiskeys anytime soon. Um, I used to, when I first got into bourbon, I would pour my like two ounces of whiskey in a thing and in, in my glass and I would take one chunk of ice and drop that in. And that's how I drank whiskey for a couple of years actually. Um, and then when I finally started to get into the high proof stuff, I started to realize that you picked up more subtle differences between each flavor, between each brand, between each bottle. And you really just let the whiskey talk the way the distiller wanted you to, to taste it. Um, now, some, some people, you know, might say that they make their whiskey for mixing cocktails, or maybe they make their whiskey to be added over ice. But for, I think for the most part, most whiskey is made to be drank neat at room temperature. You're going to pick up the most flavor that way. And adding water is not going to make a dramatic difference. And if it does, it might even dilute it and ruin it. That's at least how I feel. Thank you very much for watching, everyone www.imyourdrinkingbuddy.com if you have time to go check out my website. Most importantly, you have stayed this long. You're clearly a fan. I need you to hit like and I need you to hit subscribe. That's going to be your good deed of the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.